Stephen, first of all, congratulations. How do you reflect on the game tonight? I think a little bit frustrated. You know, we left it so long before we got the winning goal. I've just felt first half we probably um, had more domination with the ball. You know, we probably didn't create as many chances, but we certainly had plenty of possession. Second half, the game became a little bit more open. It maybe suited us a little bit better because we got Jake in behind, we got Kyle beyond the game, we got Adam beyond the game, Brock come on, get him behind. So I think, you know, the longer it goes 1-1, one, one, you almost think, is it going to be our night? Because I just felt we had maybe not clear-cut opportunity. Certainly Jake had a 1v1, but it was almost just the final third, having that final little bit of composure, just to play that pass, just to relax ourselves rather than getting uptight. You know, we brought James on, who's been out for, for a few weeks with a hamstring injury, and, you know, and he, he, he showed a little bit of composure. He must have been listening to what, uh, uh, what we were saying on the bench because we were getting a little bit frustrated with having composure. So he picked out Brock, um, who didn't start. Uh, I think he was very unlucky not to start, but he answered it in the right way by coming on and getting the winning goal. What did you make of your boys' attitude coming into a cup game like this, guys? They all seemed right up from it from the first whistle tonight. It's funny, sometimes you try and judge things from training the day before, and I thought we didn't do an awful lot yesterday, but I thought they were up for it. They were nice and sharp. You almost felt like there was a cup game on the horizon, a knockout competition. And I think I've said previously that it just brings a little edge to your game. And I felt as if the way we started the game, the way the, the shape of the team, the triggers of people going to press, but in possession, you know, I just felt as if we were really strong, we were really good, uh, we were comfortable, then we suddenly get back to 1-1 and it almost knocked us back a little bit. I think half time came at the right time for us because the goal had kind of set us back. But I just felt their attitude towards it, their application, you know, yes, they make mistakes, yes, they make the wrong choices and they can be better in certain things, but I just think for sheer will and desire, um, you know, that was a young team who were fully committed to what they were trying to do. And I think in the end, they got the deserved win. Does it give you a lot to then be encouraged about as well, Christ, moving forward with these young lads? It does. It, it, it gives me more to be frustrated about. Um, because you know with young players you get that. But when you see, you know, Jake playing as well as he did at times, David Turnbull's composure and possession, Liam's passing ability, you know, Jordan and, 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 and Barry and Jason at times being really strong defensively. And that's not taking anything away from, uh, from Kyle's goal. Unbelievable finish, you know. So Kyle hasn't played as, you know, as much as probably what he should have because of people coming down. But I think right throughout the team, you know, right into Adam and even you know, George Newley put so much into the game and I just felt it would have been such an injustice if we hadn't won the game you know we played on day again on Tuesday in the in the League Cup so things will change again but I just felt on this 90 minutes I, you know, I felt we were the better team well guys congratulations thank you very much boys